Alright Big Tree Touch, you made an unusual request and asked to send a video to you folks regarding my situation. So currently if you look at the temperature of the nozzle, it's reading 158. It should be ambient temperature at 32 or hovering around there, like how the bed is, but it's not. And I do not have the thermistor, the hot end thermistor connected to the thermistor port on the SKR Mini 2.0. Okay, so I, <clears throat> what I want to show you is that I couldn't wait and I ordered from Amazon. another board so to save the troubleshooting steps and for you to validate whether the board that's on or in the ender is working or not we're just going to place a brand new board inside there so here we go this is still in the same package I got it this morning Okay, so I got you guys box. I'm gonna break the seal. Okay, so I got brand new from Amazon. You know, I was a, a few short weeks away from the return and their return policy is that I just tell them it's broken and they'll send me a brand new one but I know that you folks want to validate the board because if the board is bad you're gonna have to send one to me from China but I'm gonna explain to you that I already know that that's the problem um, and the fact that you folks asked me to test the resistance and continuity with a digital multimeter you know not everybody has that and I'm a tech person so I know basic I do carry one so I did the testing for you but I'm gonna, I know from experience already that there's no possible way that a user can fix the problem that we're having right now it has to do something with the board there's no adjustments there's no nothing on top of there unless there's gonna be uh, one one of the wires shorting out but I'm gonna take this board I'm gonna put it into that printer now pull the old board out and then the result is the nozzle temperature should be ambient temperature and we should be able to power up the printer and achieve the goal of um, the temp uh, that's set uh, either for PLA or for the PET G that I, I've configured and I can once again print without any issues so I'll, I'll continue filming this once I get the board in All right, just want to show you that I have the old board still installed and right over here is the brand new SKR version 2. SKR Mini E3 V2. So this is going to go in this board is going to go into there brand new one and we're going to solve our problem all right i'll be right back Big Tree Tech, I have just substituted the new board, which is in right now, 
and I reconnected the thermistor. Again, this is the brand new board I got, and the old board is right here in my hand. And this is the one I'm having issues with. Okay, so I already flashed the new firmware to the board. It handles BL Touch. It also handles NeoPixel. I'm going to turn the machine on right now. Okay, so here we go. So NeoPixel starts up. I got to boot into Martin mode. If you notice, it changed the name of the, the printer. So flashing the firmware worked well. I'm going to switch over to the, the TFT. Okay, so I'm going to have to uh, level my bed again. But see now, if you notice that error. The 157, 160 degrees is not there. So I don't know what to tell you, but you know, if you need me to test anything on top of the board, there's nothing that's user serviceable. So evidently the board went bad. Right? Isn't that logical? So the thermos is connected, it's working. I don't have that high temp reading. And then, uh, you know, here's the board. You know, for you folks, I'll, I'll run the test and I'll take a picture. I'll just run a test and then I'll take a picture of the resistance. But I think uh, you're going to have to ship me a new board. And when you get it, it's going to become the spare for this printer. So in case something happens in the future, then I have a uh, board available right away. Okay, so you asked me to test out resistance. I have the meter set up at 20,000 ohms. Okay, so we're going to test the thermistor port, bottom right hand corner. Okay, we're on. I'm off. Back on. And that's the reading.